from Bernie to Green Party. All right. I've been a Bernie supporter for over a year. And by the time this position came up, um, I had already decided there was a problem. I had already seen how the Democratic Party was treating Bernie. I was already seeing and identifying that perhaps it wasn't going to be exclusive to the presidential election. And um, I'm, I'm a credentialed biologist. I've, I'm trained to think analytically about things and rationally and apply solutions. There is no way that I could reasonably run as a Democrat during this time if I understood the possibility of you know, all the obstructions that were hitting Bernie his way. So I stood by him and I understood. I understood that uh, on that fateful day uh, during the DNC, I knew that eventually we're gonna find out, we're gonna find out that day where the movement was gonna go. I had already accepted that if Bernie decided not to follow everybody else, then, well, that's the thing. We just go with the movement. The movement is not a person. I thank Bernie for opening up my eyes. Were it not for Bernie, were it not for his rhetoric, were it not for his efforts, he inspired me to run for office. He told folks all around the nation, if you feel this way, if you want to make change, if you want to create change, then run for office. He inspired me. So I thank him. I thank Nina Turner. I thank her for also doing everything she could to promote goodness in our, in our political system. However, Bernie and Nina Turner are not the movement. Jill Stein is not the movement. The people are the movement. The people are the ones that will create change. The people are the ones in charge of these politicians. And if things were ideal, and if they did not use tactile ways to overcome or undermine the will of the voters, then things would be a little bit different. But we're getting louder, we're getting stronger, and eventually we're going to get what we want.